In this tutorial, we're going to create an aircraft in Cargo Planner. We're going to do the 747-200F from the specification at Brinkley.cc. So let's get started. First up, let's get into the equipment library and select aircrafts from the drop down menu. Let's create a new one and give it the name. So in the aircraft builder, we have four different tabs. We have the add tab, we have the layout, we have the equipment and the general. I'm going to show a bit of each during this tutorial. So let's get started. First up, we're going to create the lower deck of uh, the 747-200. So we have nine PMCs, it looks like. And it looks like it's a standard PMC. So let's go ahead and create those PMCs first. We go here into uh, the layout and we select the group we want to add it to. I'm just going to name this one lower deck because that will make it easier to find later on. So let's find the, the standard PMC. And I think it's the first one here, the PMC P6P. I think that's the lower deck one, but let's, um, yeah, let's, let's add it and check, I think. So let's go into layout. And look at this, and it says it's 163 height. Yeah, that looks, those look like the right dimensions for a lower deck hold. So let's rotate this 90 degrees for it to look like it does on the layout. And let's just, now we have it set up to row, and if I just add another one, it will add it next to it. So I'm just going to keep clicking until I have five of those next to each other. I'm going to add another one, but this one is going to be spaced a little bit like it is on the layout. So let's just add a few meters to, to this, to the X direction, and it's going to be spaced out. I'm going to click another three times, and we're going to have five in the front and four in the back. And it looks correct, and we're going to skip the bulk for now, I think. So let's save this, and we're going to get started with the main deck. I'm adding another group here and naming it main deck just to keep it organized. So let's look at the specification again and see what that looks like. We're going to create this layout with uh, 29 pallets, I think it is. So yeah, let's just get started. Let's check the main deck to add it to there and let's see what it looks like. So the first one is, uh, okay, it's the one of those Q6s, I think. So let's see if we can find a Q6 for a 747. Or maybe it's just a standard Q6. Yeah, it is. It is a standard Q6. Okay, open this up. And if you look at the picture now, you can see they're actually overlaying. So I'm going to raise this up. Um, 200 is maybe realistic, but let's do 300 just to get a better overview. And it's actually, it should be or oriented in the correct direction. So let's add another one of those. Um, yeah, P6PQ6. There we go. And this one is going to be a little bit rotated. Maybe let's try 30 degrees or something. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to push it away sideways a little bit in the X direction and give it some depth. So you can both type and use the arrow keys here. Um, whichever is, if you're close, maybe it's easier with arrows, but if you're far away, then typing will get you there faster. So that looks pretty good, I think. Uh, it looks like the, we have the first two pallets down of the main deck. So let's move on to the coming six pallets. They're also the same type. They're the Q set, Q6s. Um, we're going to have six of them side by side. So let's add the first one and yeah, let's position it correctly first. So we're not going to have any rotation. I'm just going to find the one that's number 12. So we're not going to have any rotation. It's going to be zero degrees and it doesn't look like it's offset correctly. Um, so I'm going to put it where the first like leftmost one should be so that looks pretty good and then i'm going to switch the mode to side by side 
Now it's going to add one next to it and then one next to the 12 and then yeah, like this. Uh, so you can easily create side-by-side -side containers by using this side-by-side -side mode. So that's it for the, the Q6s. Let's move on to the Q7s, I think. I think it should be the first one here, three meters tall. Yeah, let's use that one, see if we have something along those lines. Let's go back to add and see if we can find the container. So we have a Q7 for a 747. Let's go in and check that this one is actually what it's supposed to be. It looks roughly correct, but let's double check. So if we go into equipment, we can select the container and get a full container builder. If we compare it with specification, this one says it's going to be 299 in height. So I'm going to switch that over. And let's look at the contours and see if they're correct. So the contours here are sort of inverse of what, how we specify them in Cargo Planner. So it says 183 is the flat part at the top and 244 at the bottom. So that gives 61 centimeters of length. Let's check the height as well. So this one says 300 minus 244, and that gives 56 centimeters, which is exactly what we have already. But the length is not correct in our setup. So let's switch this to 61. And that looks pretty good. Let's go back and we have this set up here. And this looks like it's rotated the wrong direction. So let's set it to 90. And oh, 270. Yeah, we need to have it backwards. And then space it a little bit. So it's too close. So let's add a few centimeters. There we have some spacing. And it looks like it's correct in the depth direction. So we have it in side-by-side -side mode. So now we can just basically click and it flips the containers to be the right way. How many did we actually need? Let's check. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. All right, so let's add this first 16. We have four already. So we're going to click twice here. Six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. That looks pretty good. All right, for the next bit, we're just gonna have another four spaced, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of space and then another four. So if we just add another one of the Q7s, we can add some X direction to it. Oh, it's number 34. Let's just add another meter here. And now it's somewhat spaced at least. And then we can just go ahead and click the other three times and get four of those. And um, for the last one, it's going to be the same ULD type, but it's going to be rotated and placed a bit oddly. So let's spin this around to maybe, I don't know what it can be, 45 degrees, perhaps, M maybe a bit more. Let's do 60 and add some space to it in the X direction. And it needs to be a bit deeper as well, I think. So we're going to add some Y direction as well. Actually, let's just put it to zero. Yeah, that looks good. That actually looks good. I mean, this is not maybe scientifically exact, but it's not strictly necessary either to get the, get the right, correct image. So the lower deck looks like it much too far to the left. So I'm just going to collapse both uh, groups. And if we check the lower deck, we can actually move it the entire, the entire group. So I'm going to push this sideways. Uh, let's try eight meters, maybe a bit more. Let's try another two. So we get 10 meters in total. Yeah, that, that looks roughly correct. Let's save this, and I think I think that's it. Oh, oh, let's add the um, payload as well for the entire aircraft. So we have 105 tons. We can do that in the general part, general tab. So 105,000, and save. Now, I think we should give this a spin to make sure this actually works. So let's create a new load list. 
and give it a name and set the type to be air containers and pallets. Let's just add a box of some sort. Doesn't really matter what. So I'm just gonna add a 10 centimeter cube and a hundred of those and go into aircrafts here. Let's remove the ULD and find the 7 for 7 we just created. Yeah, that looks like it's it. Adding it and calculating. All right, so oh, with a very small box that I created. It should be in the ULD number one. Let's see if it's there. Yep, it is. So as you can see, it's actually loading the lower deck first. Uh, if we wanted it to be the other way, we can go back to our flight and um, switch so we have the main deck before the lower deck so i'm just clicking shift up and saving and if we retry this uh, let's uh, re-add our aircraft so we actually get the changes that we just made and now it should load the main deck first yeah so that's it we've created a 747 200f i Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much.